Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jocelyn and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is going to be quite short. I'm going to share with you a little hack or tip that I discovered. Perhaps you already know about it and I've just been living under a rock, but I thought I'd share it with you. There are a number of bags, as we know, that are notorious for having disproportionately long straps that don't really make sense for the bag. Now, of height, I'm of average height. I'm five foot six, average sort of weight. I'm not necessarily petite, but a lot of people complain that some of these bags, such as the Chanel Classic Double Flap in the jumbo size, or the Chanel Wallet on Chain, or the Chanel Mini, have very long straps, and sometimes they can be awkward to wear crossbody, on one shoulder, you name it. So some people have a variety of different you know, suggestions as to what to do to shorten the straps and I thought I'd share with you something new that I discovered. The Chanel Jumbo. So if you haven't watched my massive review on this bag, and I'll link them below, but if you haven't watched them, go and watch them. There's a ton of information on this bag. The one thing that people don't really like about this particular size is that the strap is so long on this. The only way that you could really wear this is on your shoulder, double strapped. But if you were to single strap it, like so, it is such an awkward, like it's so long. You can't even see it in the frame. I think you, I'd have to zoom you out. <laughs> it's so long, it comes down to your hip and, and I'm not that short either. So this is a ridiculous length you can wear it cross body, it just doesn't make sense at this length. So some people what they do is they'll tie the inside with ribbon. So you can take any ribbon you like, this is just extra ribbon from my packaging and this is ribbon that you get with beauty items, so it's black. But let's just say I took my ribbon and I could literally take one side to the other side and you can sort of guesstimate how short you want the bag, but you could take the ribbon and you can tie the inside. So this is what traditionally people will do, okay? So I've heard of this hack. This is relatively inexpensive. Doesn't really cost you anything because you've already got, you can take any ribbon. I mean, it doesn't have to be ribbing from the packaging, but you could make that work, okay? You can adjust it to what you like to make it a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, and you can totally make this a single strap bag that kind of hits you at the hip, okay? Inexpensive hack. You can do that for the wallet on chain. You can even do that for the mini bag as well. That's something that I was doing when I was trying this bag on to uh, sort of make it work. However, there is a product that I came across that I think is really, really nice, and there are these little bag clips okay so they look like that i ordered these on amazon so i got two okay i think it just came in a set of two or yeah, i just bought two i can't remember but i'll link um which ones i got but if you just search bag strap clips something like this will turn up and i found out about this on facebook uh, in one of the chanel addicted groups and some of them even told me that in certain countries the boutique gives you these for free now i haven't heard of that here but it sounds to me like in asia they do this so customer service in boutiques in asia is different you know it's catering to the market and they provide these for free at the boutique never heard of that here in canada but maybe some of you know and you can tell me but the way this works is um and i don't remember how much they were but it was pretty reasonable. It wasn't like super, super expensive. So I'm just gonna use one. And you know, this comes in handy for a lot of things. So the way this operates, and I picked gold, so it looks kind of like this, okay? And what you do is there's this little turn lock, like, not turn lock, this little bar that turns out. You can hook the chain in through here and then you lock it back like that. So if I was to do this for, say this mini bag, okay? So if I wear the mini bag, yes, I can wear it on my shoulder. I can definitely wear it crossbody and it works. 
I do prefer my crossbodies a little higher, I won't lie. And if I was gonna wear this on the shoulder, then I would want it to sit a little bit higher. So let's say if I wanted to shorten this a bit. Now, if I went and did the same method with the ribbon, you know, I could shorten it a little bit too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take one side, okay, and hopefully you can see this. And I'm gonna take the clip, I've opened it, I'm gonna hook it into this little part of the chain and it doesn't really distort the leather in any way. I'm gonna go in to the other side here. Okay, so I've got one hooking on there and then I'm gonna take it into another one, I'm just estimating, and then I'm gonna lock it in place. Okay, so right now I've got that secured. And I'm gonna keep it there. Now I've shortened the bag, right? Easy, right? And it works so well. This is my preferred crossbody um, height. Some people think this is too high, but I like it to sit a little bit higher, and that's just me personally. So I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, you can do that with your wallet on chain, of course. It, it works really well. It works well for the jumbo. Try it out yourself. I'm gonna link the product down below. Um, I'm gonna link the Canadian site because that's where I ordered from. So I know a lot of you, the demographic that watches me, a lot of you guys are in the United States. Slowly the Canadians are catching up, but most of you guys are in the US and some of you are in different countries. So if you click on the link, um, sometimes you can't find the product. And I get that as well when I look at a US link and I click on it and I'm not able to get it into Canada. So the best thing to do is click on the link and then search the seller or the item code and it'll pop up in your country. There are lots of retailers that are selling these bag strap clips. So I'm sure you can find them on Etsy. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon. Showed you what they look like. It's a great addition. I can think of other uses that um, you know can use it for. Alternatively, you can use a binder clip, although those can be a little bit bulky, but I'll show you that too. So these are more of like a stationary type of item. I use these a ton in university. I also use these a lot in Cairo school as well, where instead of putting my notes in a binder, I just had these binder clips and I would clip them in and it just didn't take up a lot of bulk and it just kept my notes together. It kept like my note cards together. So I have a bunch of these lying around. I even ordered these in gold as well because I wanted to use it for um, some other uh, little wristlet. If you see my 19 wristlet review, uh, um, I ordered the gold color version of these because I mentioned in, in that that I would use a silver version. Anyway, if you've seen that video, I'll link it as well. But you can use something like this, maybe a little bit smaller. This is just the one that I had on hand. But you can use something like this to clip the strap together. Um, and these also come in handy for attaching other bag straps as well. So these are just little cheap little things that you can use. The bag strap clip is something that I highly recommend. It works really, really well. So. Check it out, try it out yourself, get the bag to work for you. I'll see you in my next video, bye.